you can see that I got four slides. So one is regarding Captivate, other is regarding Photoshop, one is the question and answer, and then finally the result. So let's do something with the quiz. So whenever the user clicks true, I want it to go to the result. But if the user clicks on false, then I want it to go back onto the first slide and then come back to the quiz again. So I can do that by going on to the quiz properties right over here. And over here, you can see that it says on success. Accent on success would be continue. That's correct. It will go to the results space right over there. And then the failure and says, um, like if in case of failure, it is also continue. I don't want it to go to continue, but I want it to go on to the default location right over here. That is captivate is developed by right over here. So I'm going to go over here and uh, onto the quiz. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, over here on the option, I'm going to click it and I'm going to go to, to so jump to the slide. So I'm just going to click on jump to slide and I'm going to say, say slide number one because that is where the Captivate information is. So slide number one, as you can see right over there. So if I were to go over here onto the preview section and then if I were to uh, click on, uh, let's say preview project, let's see what happens now. So now it is previewing the project over here. So now if I were to press play, you can see that Captivate is developed by Adobe. Photoshop is used for design and then I get my question right over here. So if I were to press true and press submit, you can see that it says correct and I can press anywhere to continue just like this. But if I were to select the false information, let's see what happens. So I'm previewing the project again. There you go. Captivate is developed by Adobe. Photoshop is used for design. So I'm going to choose false this time and click on submit. It says incorrect, click anywhere or press Y to continue. So I'm just going to click it and it, you can see that it goes back on to the first slide right over there and starts playing again. So that's something that happens right over here. But what if the timings are not um, just like that? So let's say over here, I'm going to go on to the timing um, and then let me just go over here and add in some interaction elements over here so I can go over here and then I'm going to add in something called click box over here. Click box is an in, uh, invisible type of like a button right over here. So let me just fill up the screen entirely with it. So just like this, I'm just going to fill up the screen entirely with it. Right. And then I'm just going to delete these out over here. Okay, so click box is just an entire uh, uh, my entire invisible button that I'm covering up with. So I can go over here. So the accent default accent is go to next slide. I'm going to go around here and paste it around here as well. So let's see how our learning uh, works now. So if I were to go to uh, project preview right over here, press play. You can see that if I were to click it, it goes on to the next next part. And if I were to click it again, now it goes on to uh, the question. So what I want to do is I want like, let's say if I were to come from quiz, when it comes back over here on the click box, I want it to go back to the quiz. So what I can do is I can simply select the quick, uh, click box right over here. And then on success, as you can see right here, I want it to return to quiz. So now this return to quiz only functions if you're returning from the quiz itself. Otherwise, uh, it won't work. So let's see the preview of it over here. So I'm going to go to preview project right over here, just like that. And now let's see how this looks like. If I were to press play, you can see that uh, Captivate is developed by Adobe. If I were to click it, then Photoshop comes up, click it, it goes over here. So if I were to do false and click on submit, it goes back onto the Captivate is developed by Adobe, as you can see right here. And as I click it, it gets back to uh, the question and answer section right over here so that I can choose and submit again, as you can see right over here. So I can go over here, press true and submit. And there you go. So that is how, uh, um, how interactive you can make. And so uh, this is how your users can learn 
even better. So that is how you can let your users review during a quiz if they get the wrong answers and return to the quiz from the slides that they are viewing. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.